fairly soon, we're going to get to the point where we're going to want to make a bunch, like a stack of things at a time. Uh, we're, we're not there yet, right? Well, I want to get these first machines and a couple more, and then we'll be in a place where it's going to be much more efficient for us to make like a bunch of, uh, rods, a bunch of plates, a bunch or yeah, plates, sheets, whatever they are, uh, all the things, right? We're just not quite there yet. So to make one more circuit, we need two more resistors. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, no, just just to make this one, we need two more resistors. But we also need um, two more vacuum tubes. So we need four resistors, two vacuum tubes, the wires, the uh, circuit boards. Also we need, what do we need for the circuit boards? We need more wire. Okay, so we, we need to make, let's figure out how much copper wire we need to make the two electronic circuits. Reminder, <laughs> We're making these two circuits because we need them for the wire mill. These are the last two things that we need for the wire mill. So uh, for that, we need a uh, red alloy cable doesn't need copper. Uh, the resistors need copper. So we need four resistors. So that's eight wire, eight wire. Plus we need two more vacuum tubes. So that's uh, six more wire. So 14 wire. Then we need um, two, 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 steel case. Oh no, um, there we go. Steel casing shouldn't need wire. It's just a steel plate. Okay. So what did I say? 14 and the circuit board needs eight and we need two circuit boards. So 16 and 14, 30 copper wire. 30 copper wire uh, and each copper wire right now has to be made this way. Unless we can make bigger copper wire. No, the only way to make that is to combine smaller ones. Right now, I'm curious with the wire mill. Oh yeah, you can put eight ingots and make uh, 160. Yeah. Okay. That's still consistent with the ratio. So 30 copper plates. So to make 30 copper plates, we need, um, 45, 45, um, copper ingots. Is there, is there, what else do we need here? We also need fine copper wire. Okay, so we're, we're just gonna take a stack uh, after I sleep. We're gonna just do a, it, it's not gonna, because 64 is indivisible by three, but I'll just throw a stack in there uh, into the uh, Steam Forge Hammer and uh, we'll get a bunch of plates. And while that's doing that, uh, what we can do is we can start working on the backpack. Some more. Uh, so we will need a steel ring. We'll come back to that, but we need five of these bound leather. So we need five of these. Uh, we're going to need string and leather. Uh, that was four leather times five. So 20 leather and we have six. So we need to, uh, is there a way to make leather besides from cows? or bees, uh, we can use XP buckets if we were, if we had XP, a, a cool thing as an aside, right? So XP buckets, there are ways to farm XP uh, with like XP, like essence berries or whatever. Um, so, and you can, there's a bunch of different recipes using the XP buckets to make just random items. So that's a way to get certain things. So yeah, we could kill a cow. We can do things we can't do right now. We can assemble a cow trophy <laughs> and iron sword. Hold on, hold on, side, side thing. Uh, so, right. So mobs have a chance of dropping, dropping a, uh, a trophy, which apparently can be used to make more of the item anyway. 
<laughs> yeah, macerator. We can macerate item frame. Sure. Loot bag. Better questing. I'm sure we've turned in that quest already. Need more space. It's only four leather. Uh, B. Okay, so we have to get hunt cows. Okay. So that is going to be the thing that's holding us up right now. I'll just leave this here. This will be our um, uh, workstation for our backpack. Sounds like the uh, forge hammers then, though. Be, uh, be grateful that I turned down the block sound. Because all of, all of that machinery in there is so loud at the like, default volume that uh, it would be unbearable to like be be here it would be super loud uh anyway so we need 30 <laughs> we need 30 wire uh and it's funny because i don't know that our wire cutters are going to survive this uh maybe yeah okay yeah yeah it'll do all right can't do that again though Hopefully we won't have to, right? We'll we'll have the wire, uh, the, uh, the the wire mill, uh, and then we also need the uh, the foil to make the fine wire. So for that we need a hammer. Uh, let's see, it's two per resistor, so we need at least. Let's go with that many. It'll be useful for other things. And then we wire cut that. Yes. Okay. So, uh, for this, we need four resistors. One, two, three, four. Hey, hey, I didn't make enough of that. All right, cool. And then we need to make two circuit boards. One, two. All right, we have enough for that. Um, and then we need a steel casing. I'm just gonna bookmark that. It's just two steel plates with a hammer. Uh, we don't have steel plates though. Oh, or, or do we? Did we have steel plates left over? Nope, okay. See, stuff like this is gonna slow us down a bit. That That's why once this stops being so inefficient, a, a bit un inefficient, we'll be able to uh, prep more uh, like input parts. Uh, okay, so this here and hammer here, steel casing. Yes. Steel casings. And then we just need six red alloy cable. So that's six red alloy wire. Should be, not be surprising, right? So it's, it's six plates and then wire cutter. So we have no plates and we have two red alloy. So how do we make red alloy? Because we're gonna need more of this. So it is copper and redstone in the alloy smelter, one to four. So let's make a bit of that. Um, so we want like, do like 16. Yes, and then a stack of redstone, since I have a lot. Um, I actually have more redstone in the form of uh, 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 impure piles, but I started to realize, oh, that's a lot of redstone that I have already, and uh, we can process this later once we have better machinery with things that give us a chance of additional materials like cinnabar dust versus just washing it uh, and like the, the cauldron. Uh, all right, so alloy smelter is so over here to copper and redstone. There we go. So that'll be a minute. Um, something 
I realized. Ah, here's one that I'm not using. Let's steal this crafting station. At least something I've read. I've actually not checked that this is true, but it would definitely save us time. So you might recall uh, when we were working on this guy down here, the blast furnace, that I went over to the water and I was grabbing buckets of water to, um, you know, do the recipe for like the, the concrete and stuff. So I was like, I've seen references, people saying that once you have an infinite source of water, like the water tank, then that becomes a lot easier, but it wasn't really clear how, because yeah, you can take buckets of water from this, but you still have to like bucket it between. But apparently if you put the crafting station here, Oh, okay. That that's a thing. Also, I found a bug. <laughs> I found a bug. All right, cool. So that is slightly more convenient because then you don't have to leave the UI, right? You can fill your bucket of water and do your recipe here. Okay, cool. All right, uh, oh yeah, so we were waiting for the red alloy to be processed and that should be done, 16. Um, we need some plates, right? We needed six plates. So we need nine of these. Yes. Hmm. While we're waiting, uh, let's assemble, let's put this tank up, up there. So one of the things you'll notice, like what you hover over, it says not portable, use a dolly. So you cannot, like we have these tanks here and I can add another tank on here. It's gonna start filling up from the pipe. But you can't just break this with a pick or uh, some other tool and it, it won't retain its contents. You can break it and you go to the tank back, but it won't keep its contents. So like if we want to haul um, tanks of creosote somewhere else, which is kind of what I was thinking here with this, either using this as a backup source to fuel this if we were to run out or to take this somewhere else, uh, we would need to use the dolly. More likely we're going to use these tanks for um, like grabbing up oil or an oil byproduct when we get to that point. Anyway, okay, done with that. Uh, four chambers should be done. Almost. This seems a little slower doing this. I do need all, all six though. Um, the other thing that I, I was looking to make is uh, upgrade templates. So kind of annoying to make because you have to make pistons, but the storage template allows you to make storage upgrades using iron or gold or obsidian and further to make the drawers hold more materials. We have a bunch of drawers. Uh, like we had that one drawer that we were putting saplings in, you know, that was a, it was a two by two drawer, right? and the, each of the slots holds only a certain amount of materials. Um, with the upgrade, we could upgrade that so we could hold more saplings. Um, but yeah, six, success. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, wire cutter time again. And we just gotta remember which order. All right, that, that wire cutter might actually make it through this process. Uh, and then, I think it, honestly, it's just gonna be easier to take 12 rubber bars. Is it 12? 
two to one in the um, alloy smelter. Yeah, it is two to one. That's gonna be, it's five seconds per thing. So it's worth noting on the recipes, the time, as we get further into the pack, I know that recipes are gonna get slower until we get like higher tier. Uh, like we will have certain things we'll wanna make and like the low voltage version of the machine will be very slow to make it. And the medium high, like uh, multi-block and high voltage, you know, whatever will be faster as I think how that goes. But we'll see. All right, so this will take a minute. Um, maybe let's hunt some cows, get some leather. So for doing that, we wanna bring a, a knife. So how much leather do we need? We have six, we needed 20. So we need 14 more leather. I actually have a little bit of a leather, uh, a leather farm. Yeah, a cow pen over yonder. Um, let's just run over there. Really. Uh, see, look, the trees grew. Look at those giant trees. All right. It's not that far over here. But the cows are cute. <laughs> well, we can make more cows. We don't really have another way of getting leather though, unfortunately. And I want a backpack, so. We have Gabrielle Tombstone <laughs> keeping an eye on the cows here. All right, so that was one leather. We're not, oh yeah, these are locked, good. Oh, it doesn't matter. That one uh, made a ghost. There it goes. Three. All right, we gotta make sure to leave two cows, even if that doesn't give us enough leather. So I don't have to go uh, bring more cows here. Seven. How much did I say? 14? We might actually be able to get that, or maybe not. So the reason I'm using a knife, <laughs> the reason I'm using a knife is because if you use another weapon on a, um, a passive mob, you know, a chicken, a cow, a pig, etc., um, it can explode. <laughs> Nine. Nine. And that's two. Okay, so. Uh, well, I'll go find some wild cows. Somewhere. Do, uh, do horses drop leather? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think they do. Mob info? Oh, you know what? There are more mobs that drop leather. An ender steed, a nightmare, a wild deer in the twilight forest. Uh, a werewolf. Uh, yeah, 100% when looting is applied. Uh... I don't know. Are you, uh, speed point two five five nine. <laughs> Yay, ten. Hmm, where are there more cows? Also, I should probably bring some wheat over here at some point and, and uh, breed more cows. This is an interesting tree. <laughs> it's got avocado growing on it and a chestnut and an apple. And is this nutmeg over here? Nutmeg and another chestnut. 
to get some hybridization. Some, uh, someone in the past, like, grafted <laughs> branches onto it. Uh, there's another one over there. All right. I don't know that there are any other loose cows out and about. And um, I don't know if it's because I'm on a server now or the upgrade to 1.5.1, but I don't have the, um, the option anymore to like show mobs on the map, which I mostly didn't want anyway, but it's kind of nice sometimes. All right, so um, I guess we'll have to go, uh, the next time we're waiting for stuff to happen, we'll go look for some more cows. Make some progress on the uh, the backpack mission. I wonder if I have any leather set set over at the old house. That's also possible. Let's eat some mushroom stew. There we go. Another thing. All right, we're up to sixteen leather there. Got some raw beef that uh, we'll stash somewhere. Put the knife back for now. Probably just need to make a new knife. Okay. Uh, we were waiting for the alloy smelter to make cables from our wires. There we go. Six of them. Okay. So th those go in there. So now. We're close, we can make one electronic circuit. The other one, we need two more vacuum tubes. So vacuum tubes, ah, okay. So we do need four more fine copper wires. Fortunately, we have plates. Uh, let's see, and a hammer. Oh wait, just two there, yeah, okay. And then wire cutter, two, three, four check and then we do need steel rods which means we need a file all right two okay look at all that stuff that's gone <laughs> and then one more electronic circuit there we go all right we got we got things all right, so I want to pull this stuff out here because we're going to, uh, I don't want to remove any of the recipes that are in this, which would happen if I craft anything else in this. So I'm going to take the items that I need, including four of those electric motors that we got from the loot bag, uh, which is very convenient. And we're going to go over here and then we're going to craft the basic wire mill. <clears throat> We're gonna craft the basic wire mill. There we go, I had to hold shift. <laughs> there we go, and that should be a quest. Which, I've not even pulled up. Damn you, wire cutter, exactly. We, we blew through, like we destroyed our last one and went through most of the durability on the one we just made out of a bunch of iron. Uh, so let's go over here to tier one. That was this quest. Um, one of the things I, I did was just kind of like, so th this disagreed. It said that after the vending machine, you should this should be your next step, and that might be fair, because like the um, the fine wire needed plates still, right? Um, but the wire just needs ingots, so I think this is a better thing to do. Okay, so we're gonna claim this, and I've already decided we're just gonna open the loot bags until we get to the point where it's even possible. <laughs> to uh, enchant stuff, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna open the loot bag. There we go, we got a basic solar engine from Steve's Carts. I have no idea what that's for. No clue, but we have it. Uh, let me also lock this bag. What What is, what is this? Is this the thing you use? Nope. I don't know anything about Steve's Carts. I know it has to do with like mine carts and you can like automate stuff, but um, it doesn't seem to be kind of the the meta for this pack. 
to use that. At least I've not seen in other people's playthroughs and tutorials and stuff about it. All right, we'll put the coins away later. Um, is there anything we could do with the Supreme Pizza? Oh, we can can it. Okay, cool. Ah, oh. so here's a thing that we could do at some point, um, which is hunger no more. If we make a bunch of these things and gather a bunch of the Pam's Harvest Craft Gardens, we can get a healing axe. Um, but I don't really care about that. I would rather find every food item, make every food item, like get the most, you know, we'll, we'll do the, the, like the food game. I don't care about the healing axe. Uh, okay, so let's get some power stuff going, finally. Finally. Uh, do I have a wrench on me? No, okay, well that, we want a wrench. Now this, what I'm about to do should be very safe because it's one machine, we're not even gonna use a wire. Um, so we just need somewhere where we can hook up to the steam. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see, do that. And then we'll have steam routed out of there. There we go. Steam is coming in. And then we'll connect the wire mill. There we go. We have a wire mill. Be back in a bit. All right. I'll be here, Foxy. Uh, yeah. And then there's a thing where we can select which circuit this is on. Uh, and uh, yeah. So how does the wire mill work? Well, uh, one really cool thing about the wire mill before I talk about like the recipe is item auto output. So, um, if we were to grab a chest that we're not using right now, like this one, yoink, we can put this under here and we can say item auto output. And then, um, does it, does it work down? I guess, well, first of all, we can't open the chest that way. So that's, that's useless. Let's put it here. Uh, so that should work, I think. Yeah, okay, so how does it work? So if you look at the wire mill, um, you can see there's 567 pages of recipes. Uh, but let's say we wanna make some more copper wire because we are going to need to make some more copper wire um, for all the things that we just made basically up until the last step. We need probably two more electronic circuits other things. So copper wire in the wire mill, uh, we can drop a copper ingot on programmed uh, circuit configuration one. So circuit one, and then we get two copper wires. This uses four EU per tick. Uh, and we're making, we should be good. 400 EU, four EU per tick, uh, five seconds, copper ingot programmed recipe one. So we'll put this to one. I'm just using my scroll wheel. Shift left click to open GUI. Oh, okay, cool. That's the thing. Uh, so then we just put our copper ingot. And um, now that, you know, for the, basically what I would view as the foreseeable future, we're not gonna have anything better than this. As far as I know, it's gonna be a long time before we get to MV and those things, even if that is more efficient that um, I'm just gonna put like a stack of copper in there. And eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a hopper on that uh, and just pipe in a bunch of copper and we're gonna make a bunch of wire because that's gonna be a good thing. Probably, I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know, like there's no room here, right? For more machines. We'll have to figure out something. Uh, maybe we can, is this the chunk edge over here? No, no, we have lots, hold on. Map, turn on the grid. Oh no, that is the chunk edge there. Um, what's cool on the, on the map is you can actually see the redstone flashing off and on up upstairs. Yeah, like that. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, yeah, we're kind of at the chunk edge there. So we might expand this room out this way for having more electrical based machines. At some point, I think what I want to do is like um, in the short ish term, move some things like move some of the machinery and stuff over a chunk so that we don't have everything in the same chunk. Um, so like we'll have our storage and maybe our blast furnace and like manually dealt with stuff and then we can have our more automated electrical stuff elsewhere or something. I don't know. All right, so there we go. We're making wire. And if this works right, we should like auto deposit it. Um, does that work? Yeah. All right, so there you go. We're making copper wire. One ingot to two wire. Two wire, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's great. All right. Good stuff. Now the uh, the foil. Hey, King, how's, uh, how's the game going? Good. We just made uh, kind of a really big milestone. Uh, that I kind of I I, I kind of glossed over it right but we have steam coming in from our our steam boiler up above we've had that for a while right for all this steam powered machines but we just put down the steam turbine so it takes the the steam coming in and it turns it into uh, electricity oh good it's it's buffering so that's good we got lots of steam coming into it and so we are we're using the electricity to power this machine that's taking our copper and turning it into copper wire. Uh, very efficiently, right? So, well, double the efficiency of what we were doing before, where we were kind of doing it by hand. So that means instead of like two copper, um, let's see, what was it? It was like three copper ingots to make two plates and each plate could make, a, was it that way? A wire? Hold on. Was I've already forgotten. I've I've already moved ahead in my mind. Uh, what is it? Yeah, so one copper plate makes one wire. So it's like, it's essentially, it was three ingots to make two wires. Uh, but now it's one ingot makes two wires. Um, so like, I guess 50% more efficient, but it's also like properly automated now, right? So I don't have to like sit here and like, you know, do things in the in crafting, right? It's just gonna do it. Uh, how is our steam doing though, right? So now we're using probably more steam. No, we're we're good. Like this tank is still full, so our boiler is keeping up, and we have lots of creosote uh, from our uh, our. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> from our uh, coke ovens upstairs, they are turning uh, wood into charcoal and also giving us creosote for our uh, boiler setup here, firebox and all that. So. Yeah, good stuff. So the next thing to do is um, to make the next machine, right? So the other machine that's really gonna help us with efficiency is the bending machine. Now the recipe for this is slightly different. It's very similar to the other one where we need two electronic circuits. We need two uh, electric motors instead of four, um, a tool, um, only one tin cable this time, uh, an LV machine hole because everything needs that. But now two electric pistons. So the electric pistons use the motors and we add tin cables and rods and plates and a small steel gear, right? To make an electric piston. Um, so yeah, so we need two of those. So that means we do need one more electric motor. So we need, so we are also going to need tin cable along with uh, copper. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some, uh, that's not 10, some 10 ingots, put it in the machine and we're gonna make some tin wires. Um, this is where I need a hopper for this. Um, well, we're not using this right now. So I'll just take this hopper. Hoppers are kind of 
um, a bit more expensive than this, right? With copper, uh, with like iron plates. Although that is gonna be much less expensive once we have the bender. Uh, so, pop, whoop, put that there. And then 10 ingots in there. Now, oh, we can just, can we, it still works like this? What happens when we run out of copper? So in the short term, then if this works, which it seems to, then we didn't really need the hopper. But on the other hand, this will be good long term, right? Because we can put like several stacks of stuff up here and have it just go. processing there we go all right we have 10 wire cool so the next thing we need 10 cable not 10 wire so we need rubber uh, so we have some rubber I'm not gonna use all of it right now but we'll do 14 16 so we'll make eight 10 cables Take a stack of copper wire for later. Ow. Uh, unsurprisingly, <laughs> the uh, these bronze fluid pipes filled with steam are kind of hot. Who would have thunk it? All right, so. Uh, rubber bars and 10 wires makes in the steam alloy smelter, tin cable. All right. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna put these coins away. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. So we have a few coins. Um, I looked into the uh, the better questing hearts stuff, and it turns out these are for if you're like playing uh, like a hardcore mode, you can get extra lives. So if you die, you can uh, respawn. So kind of like um, yeah, this version of Minecraft predates like Totems of Undying and uh, Woodland Mansions and stuff. So it doesn't have anything like that. So that. I guess there's kind of a similar purpose. All right, so how are we doing? Are we done with our eight? One more, almost there. You can imagine as we start doing like stacks of stuff at a time, that'll take a little bit longer. Um, which is why we want to do stacks at a time so we can have, you know, a bunch of materials ready for us. All right, so we need to make one more electric motor. We have the materials for that now. Well, once I put it into the work table, there we go. We will need two of these. Uh, what else do we need? Let's unbookmark the wire mill. At some point, we'll probably have multiple wire mills and, and things, but don't need that for now. Okay, so we have some things. We do need the uh, LV machine hull. So the LV machine hull needs an LV machine casing. LV machine casing needs eight steel plates. Uh, so if we need eight steel plates, then we need, uh, well, really nine. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, four, so the number divided by two. Uh, so four times three, 12 ingots right now to put into the, uh, the steam forge hammer. Once we make the machine that we're making right now, instead of needing 12 to do this, we'll only need eight. All right, so let's see, what else What else do we need here? So LV machine casing. We do need one more steel plate and raw iron plates. 
Uh, and we'll probably need steel plates for something else. Hold on, let's just look through here. We don't need steel plates for... Oh, we do. Each one of these needs nine, or three. So a total of six. Um, this doesn't need steel plate, right? It does. Okay, so two and not 11 plus what I'm making plus I already have that so a so six times three um, 18 more yeah so one machine we've gone through so much steel uh, already that this is again why I've been between streams focusing on getting uh, more and more steel made. All right, so that'll be a start. Hey, twerk, how's it going? What are those emotes? Really cool. Thanks for you. Uh, finger point support. Thanks for your support. Something like that. <laughs> twerk love. Hey, appreciate it. appreciate you uh, lurking. Hope you're having uh, a good. Uh, night. It's pretty late for you, isn't it? Or early. <laughs> Alright, we can make an LV machine casing now. There we go. And then we want to make LV machine hull. So now we need two raw iron plates. Uh, which we have a few more, which is good. There we go. Now we have the LV machine hull. You just need imagination to use this. I mean, there are a lot of recipes, I think for the LV machine hall. There's 21 pages of things that you can make with the LV machine hall. So look at all these machines that we can make. Basic autoclave, basic arc furnace, basic chemical bath, basic chemical reactor, basic circuit assembler. Ooh. Circuit assembler. We can make circuits with this. <laughs> these should be Less expensive, yeah, less expensive than what we're doing right now. But of course, making this is a whole thing. Uh, oh, interesting. So what's what's neat about this is this is an LV machine, like it uses an LV machine hall. But these are MV circuits. Any MV circuit, yeah. So that's interesting. Okay. So we're trying to make a basic bending machine. So we have some of the things. We do need to make two of these circuits, which means we need to make all these things again, which means we need wire. But the good news is we have a wire mill. <laughs> uh, so this will be easier. All right, we've already gone through all that. There we go. So let's make I'm assuming it's still circuit one to make wire. I guess I'm gonna find out in a minute. There it is. Look at all the wire we have now. Just that easy. All right, we needed six. They do need to be insulated, which means we need rubber. Plates are done. Um, this is empty, good. <laughs> so if we need six of these, we need 12 rubber bars. Yep. Um, let me double check this. Let's, let's look at this again, right? So if we use rubber or rubber bars, we need two plus one to make one thing. If we go over to the forge hammer, Three of these becomes two of these, two rubber sheets. Now the rubber sheets, okay. We can't use that in the alloy smelter. Okay. So, I feel though, I'm pretty sure then, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's definitely, it's gotta be more efficient to 
to put this into that. Yeah, there we go. And it's so fast too, right? So now we have eight of these. So now instead of 12 covering six wires, we can cover eight wires, right? Because we can just do this. Yeah, that's definitely better. That That is going to save us uh, a little bit of rubber. And right now every bit adds up. We don't have that much um, just materials in general. Just what I've been gathering between streams. All right, so bending machine again. Uh, again, we, we're still working on the electronic circuit. So that part's covered. We need a total of four vacuum tubes. Uh, so we need to make this fine copper wire. Uh, we can make it in the wire mill. Yes, on circuit three. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna take another stack of copper and we're gonna make a bunch of that fine wire. Oop. On circuit three. This is great. Watch this. So now, there we go, eight fine copper wire, just like that. And eight more. <laughs> uh, all right, so now we need, uh, so again, we need four of these, each of these, so we need eight steel rods, eight steel rods. So we need eight steel right now and uh, file, there we go. Mm, all right, so now we can make, oh, we need red alloy bolts. So we don't have any kind of machinery that's gonna help us with that. We just need to make red alloy rods. And we don't have like the lathe or cutting machine or anything, so we have to do it this way. So uh, yeah, what do we need here? So we need four of these. So we need two red alloy rods. Looks like we have the materials to do that. Just need to file these and then cut them. So eventually, down the road, we're gonna have machines that are gonna do all the stuff that I'm doing by hand. Uh, and then probably a bit further down the road, as we get a sense of like, what are we gonna need the most of, a lot of, have like dedicated assembly lines, like have machine connected to machine connected to machine um, for the purposes of making a bunch of the things that we're going to need as we progress two, three, four. So like in the not too distant future, what I'm hoping is to make like stacks of vacuum tubes like in this, right? Um, just to make it so that we can craft all of these machines that we're going to be making. Um, but we, we gotta make these first machines first so we can more efficiently process the materials we have so that we can then um, you know, make the most of, of what we have. So we need uh, four resistors. One, two, three, four. Hey, look at that, nice. And then we need uh, two steel casings. So we have steel plates. And if I remember right, it's this recipe. Like so, for steel casings. And then, um, then we just need two circuit boards. All right, so now we're out of the coded circuit boards and we need more wooden planks. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I have a few. Let's prep a few of those, maybe like six. Uh, it needs to be divided by three, right? So uh, 18 is divisible by three. Yeah, there we go. So we have a few. All right, now we should be able to make two electronic circuits, so that's nice. Uh, and then what we wanna do is we wanna make the basic bending machine. And so the last thing we need are two electric pistons. Uh, and we're really close actually to make at least one of these. How much, yeah, so we need six plates for that. We need, uh, what else? Two, four rods. 
more steel. Three, four. And a file. The screwdriver and file look very similar. It's just the shades that are different. And the end is slightly pointier over here. It's not, it's not super obvious. Okay. Uh, I think I can put those copper plates away. I don't need to carry those with me right now. Uh, what else do we need? So, uh, right, so I'm making this. Uh, I need four tin cables, which we have. I think I might need more for the machine itself. Yeah, one more, so we'll need to do that. Uh, and then we need two small steel gears, which uh, we have to make by hand. Okay, and now I don't have enough. Do I have enough steel plates now? To make two of the uh, electric pistons? No. Good, I had some extra. All right. Uh, electric piston. Wait, didn't I have rods? Did I make, oh right, I used the rods to make the gears. Right, so we need four more? Yeah, four more steel rods. Uh, should sleep since it's night. We're inside a chest. Okay, there we go. Um, so how much steel did we start today with? Uh, how much steel have we gone through? <laughs> Quite a bit, I think. Uh, all right, so anyway, we're making electric uh, pistons. Two of those. There's not a quest for that yet. In fact, we can we can talk about this. Oh, um, oh, there was a quest. So this is you're gonna hate this number three electric piston. Uh, we can get some rewards. So let's let's collect our rewards uh, and open the loot bag. We got a hamburger. Ooh. This Fafter 29 just raided with one viewer. Hey, MP. Welcome in. Thanks for the raid. How's it going? We got we got ourselves a hamburger uh, for our troubles. Eaten once. Assisted in hearts. It's got grain and protein. It's good stuff. Uh, let's see. Did we complete any other quests accidentally? So we did complete this one. I guess we'll claim this. We got two banana splits to eat. Which we've not eaten before. Yep, dairy and fruit. It's good things. Um, yeah, so we kind of skipped one and two. There's also a quest called You're Gonna Hate This Number One to make the, the low voltage conveyors that allow you to have um, the machine take stuff out of an inventory and put it into itself, I think, rather than having to use a hopper. And then you're gonna hate this number two, which is, uh, what is this, electric pumps, which is used basically the same purpose, but for liquids. Um, but anyway, we don't we don't need any of those things right now. What we do need is um, a basic bending machine. So I think I have all of the things here, almost all of the things. We just need to um, pull them out. And I think we're just missing one thing. Yeah, we need one tin cable. Uh, so what we'll do, put that back, grab one of that. Do I have, okay, I'll go get one tin cable. Um, looking to see, oh yeah, those pistons we can put away. There we go. All right, and very quickly, because I'm going to need to take a break here. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, it doesn't shift into the crafting. All right, one tin cable. So we have all the materials. We're gonna pause here for a quick break uh, so I can go stretch my legs. And when I return, the basic bending machine, and then probably working on the backpack. All right, be right, be right back. 